Hey y'all, this one is uh, probably going to be a little deeper. It just tugged on my heart just now. Um, became relevant and real to me. Um, I would attribute it to the Holy Spirit speaking to me because the Holy Spirit lives in me. Because I've accepted Jesus Christ and His gift of His sinless life in my place for my sin. And um, so, don't want to step on your toes, we're all sinners. I know you are, you know I am, whatever. You can deny it, I know the truth. Only Jesus can forgive your sin because he's the only ever sinless human being. That is all discoverable in the Bible, but it is also related to what I'm saying. That's why I prefaced the statement with it. Right now, for employment, I'm chasing rigs, that's what it's called. I'm a contract welder subcontracting under a bigger business that uh, has work and so I go do their work. It's mostly at drilling rigs, some at businesses. The point of this is I'm here working in my driveway doing my own thing. and uh, But I have my phone in my pocket which is a pain because uh, grinding shavings and pieces of metal get near the speaker messes up the phones and stuff but i have to be able to be in contact when i'm called upon and that's what this is about if you're a believer if you're not this uh i'm just saying hi to you i guess with this video you won't really understand what i'm saying probably because as a christian we're called to in the bible to uh what in P peter tells us Always be ready to give a reason for your faith in any season. So that's me having my phone. I'm always ready to go to work when I'm called upon. That's what I need to be. Even that's not the most comfortable deal. I'd rather know and have some planning. But when it hits, man, I got to stop whatever I'm doing and go to that job. So, and that, it was, it directly ministered to me that thought because, uh, I didn't have anybody else to talk to, and I knew it was the Holy Spirit talking to me, so I let him say what he was going to say, which was the same way you're ready to go to work. You're here on this earth. I believe I'm here, and if you know me personally, you know that uh, I've put myself in some precarious situations that I really shouldn't have lived through. And the, in, to me, there's no question in my mind that the Lord has something for me to do for me being here. Otherwise, I'm just taking up space. And my, my motto with my own stuff and work, I've got both of them to do. I always want to stay busy. I hate to get to the end of the day and be able to pinpoint some time that I misused or could have used better or didn't use at all. That's the worst. Didn't use at all. And that goes to a parable in the Bible how uh, uh, an owner left talents with each of his servants one got ten one got five and one got one the one that got ten did all the good with it multiplied it the one that got five did all the good with it and the one that got one hid it away he did nothing i hate to get to the end of the day and look at my own time and realize i did nothing so uh, i guess this was mostly for people that are like-minded and like faith or i guess like-hearted with me uh, in the belief that Jesus is our Savior. And that that gift is not without we can do something for Him and the good of the kingdom, which is if you love people and you want more people in heaven, you got to tell them the truth. I mean, it's I'm going to bypass this opportunity to go political. I could have done it. Oh, it was close. Uh, may make a whole nother video. But if you know the truth, tell the truth. And it could save somebody else's life. So, there. Y'all have a great Tuesday. And uh, if you need, uh, we all need prayer, I guess. If you need prayer, specific, <coughs> specifically get with me and I'll, I'll pray for you. Um, we all need to be connected and that's for me. I need to get connected too. So, Y'all have a great day. All right, then.